Hello, my name is uh, Rex Emilius. Welcome to Zealonka, August 1st here. Actually, I was gonna start right here because I wanted to show you this field just to my right here. I actually plowed that. We I started the contracts. Here's a carrot field. We're finished up the carrot contract right now. They have started coming in a little bit more. Started a little slow. Ooh, that would be a good one. Parson, no. No, it is not a good one. I'm gonna skip these. If I need to hire the worker, this is the worst piece of gear in the game. Don't like it. The, the, second worst. That one is like, the, the one that's the worst is the only, the single, the single picker part. Like this one has a single, but at least I don't have to hire a worker to do it. I don't like hiring workers. It takes away all the profit from the contract. Not all of it. I'm being dramatic. Between episodes, <laughs> let me just move on. Let's get rid of the drama. Let's move on. What is this? This is the carpenter right there. Oh, all right. I don't know if we'll be getting to that or not. We'll see. Oh, speaking of wood, there we go. This is the perfect segue. Between episodes, I did another quick forestry dealio. Here, take a look at it. There you go, just trying to keep the, the piano manufacturer in the key of Chopin. Uh, man, this is just timing out perfect. Just over here on the left, trying to keep this busy. Let's turn the UI on so we can see it. 9,000 liters there, and then I've got another bar. Where are we at? Where are we at? It is 13,400 liters and 500 planks. Well, maybe even a pallet or so over there, probably. So we got a lot. A lot of good stuff going on with the woodwind and the piano shop. Let's get out of the way of traffic here. Between episodes, I also mowed up the field over by... I'm just going to quick do it over here. I mowed up this field right here. And then I mowed up that one and rolled it. I just want, I had one contract to be in August. It was crazy. So I just started running the horses and getting a few odds and ends done that I wanted to get done before the episode. But then... The contract started popping in. And what else? Oh, between episodes, they use gear for August 1st. How about this? Uh -huh. I did stop the tractor because I want to look at this real good. Real good. Look at that. Look what popped in. There's no way we can get it. I would like to. In in uh, FS25, we'll be doing this stuff. Like I've said, I wanted to do loose <laughs> loose silage and straw loose stuff instead of ba Oh, boy. Almost it. But if you will notice that that is the forge harvester that I actually have a Lego set of. And here's the picture of that from quite a few episodes ago. I got it a couple of few months ago. So it was, it was fun to see that in the used gear. I mean, I could have looked it up anytime in all the gear, but I didn't. And now I saw it in the used gear. So there it is. 
let's finish off this carry contract and move on to working some of our own fields. I, oh, oh boy, that was close. These, these vegetable trail, if I would have had a full trailer here, that would have tipped. These vegetable trailers are really heavy. <laughs> I think they're meant to go one stack at a time, but I always do two. Oh, I love this because you get, you make money off the crates. There it is. It's finished. 195,000, but we haven't even finished the contract. Right here. Completed. Done. Harvesting. No, harvesting. I'm not going to harvest your parsnips. Get good gear, Dawid. If you get good gear, I'll do it for you, but no, you don't have good gear. Let's accept this one right now, and we'll do it later. I'm not going to... Oh, jeez. I forgot that was rented gear. Oh, I'm stranded now. Oh, no. Let's just move over here. We can probably just tab to something. What do we want to work on first? I haven't even decided what to work on first. Let's go over to the yard. Uh, so our choices are, do we want, we got to get potatoes up and is that sorghum in that field? <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Farmland. Oh, here we go. Is it harvested yet? Oh, I, oh my gosh. 83,000. Hang on. All oh, right. That is sorghum. Has it been harvested yet? Remove full. Oh no, it's potatoes. It's potatoes. I'm in it. I'm silly. I. Ooh. Man, oh man. That is tempting. It is double fertilized. Yeah, remove foliage means it's ready to harvest. You just gotta get the potato. I can't do that. Can I? We're gonna. Oh my gosh. All right. Well. We're not going to buy this field, are we? I'm just going to sit here. Here it is. We're just going to waffle. 83000 And we're going to buy this one and this one soon. And I have made a decision <laughs> on something. Uh, subject to change, but I think I'm going... Let's just start harvesting this, and then we'll talk. How about that? Let's start harvesting the sorghum. Nope. <laughs> we're harvesting the potatoes first because... That, uh, if I do that field over there with the potatoes, then I want to just have this out and ready to go. So it's unfolded, B, and this is our new process with this track trip. Now, this year, I am going to stay a little further away from the crop. I was getting right up close to it, and a lot of it got trampled. Not a lot. Some of it got trampled last year because I was, the track was just too close to it, and the game says, nope. Nope, you've ruined your crop, Raximelius. Learn how to drive. Or get a tractor that could do this. <sighs> so that field with the potatoes over there. Let me do some math. Because I think we're... I'm 95% certain we're going to just lease the cotton harvester. I think that's the right move. Considering what I talked about last year is that take like 17 years to make our money back as opposed to just leasing it every year. It hurts my brain. I don't like doing it. I don't like doing it. One reason is because now I look at it as 25,000. Are we going to get $25,000? Oh, now I'm just like sucking at this because I'm not close. Are we going to get $25,000 worth of cotton off of that field? And it's just going to take away from that profit. But at the same time, if we're spending 425,000 to buy the harvester, then does that make sense either? But I think we're going to lease it. I think we're close enough to the end of the series. It's worth, let's just lease it, do the cotton, buy those fields, and move on with our lives. We're probably going to have, I don't know how fast I do episodes. Are we going to have one, maybe two more harvests of cotton before we move on to FS25? I think that's probably what the case is. So let me do some addition. <laughs> it's tough to do addition, addition, and harvesting potatoes at the same time but we got to do it oh this field now oh boy now i can't back my <laughs> i can't back my oh my potato harvester in over there so we'll just have to cut the corner like this i guess like this hope for the best and i'm already trampling there as you can see i want to stay away from that as much as possible so we'll just start by staying pretty far away there we go. I think we might do it. Let me do the math. I keep saying it, and then I keep getting distracted by other stuff. 
Let's see how much it's going to cost to buy that field, buy the two big fields, and lease the harvester. Math complete, 164000 to do all the cotton, and that was with leasing the harvester at 35000 in case it takes more than one hour to get the cotton up. So it might be ten grand less than that, but I think it's going to take more than an hour to get both those big fields harvested, cotton. We do need, I, one thing I didn't look at as well, is we need a bale trailer for the cotton, but all right, that's slush, that's slush money, right? I guess. <laughs> is it? Is it slush money? Let's look. Uh, cotton, cotton, cotton. Technology, this one, yeah, 26,000 is probably the one we'd get because we do, it'll be a square. Yep, we'd get that one, 26,000. Uh, I think we might do it. I think we might get those potatoes up because we got a lot of canola too. <laughs> We've got so much canola that we need to um, get more potatoes to get these things up and I don't want to do this many potatoes every year, but this is a good opportunity for a piece of land we wanted. We could use more potatoes because of all the canola we have. Uh, did I do the whole math? So, okay. I guess I didn't do the whole math. 164000 for the cotton gear. 164 plus, well, let's just say 200. 200, round number. So we have basically the money for the cotton right now. And we got a lot of contracts in queue. So the money will go up and it'll go up in October and then super side sell off. So we got money coming in. And for the potato land is 83,000. And there's no new gear we need for that. It's kind of like the canola where it's just pure money at that point. And then should we go take a look at it? Maybe we will be, we'll have a good amount of grass. I think there is over there. Let's go look at it. Because maybe we can make up a lot of that money in silage this year as well. Shut down. Let's go. Let's go visit. Here it is. There's not much grass here, to be honest. There's a lot of forest we could tear down. And uh, the, the long-term plan for this land is to put chickens over here. And then this will be like a barley field just for chickens. I mean, so I had plans for this area. Kind of like to keep the woods in here. How far does this go over here? Is this all, would this all be part of it? Let's look, let's look. It is, it goes all the way to the road. So maybe this is, or the creek, it goes all the way, does it go all the way to the road? So we have this side too. We probably just leave that. Hmm, let's just do it. We're going triple bold. You know, you thought double bold was crazy last episode. Oh, no, no. Let's just do it. This is going to be so much harvesting, though. I can't waste any more time. I can't waste any more time. I've got to get these potatoes up. All right, farmland. Let's just do it. We'll live with the consequences. Oh, my gosh. We're doing it again. Hang on. Let me do a screenshot for possible, for possible thumbnails. Hang on. Oh, no. Hang on. Here it is. Let's just do it. Oh, yes. Okay, we're look at this. We are and we're gonna own these two. We are buying up some land. Oh, but game paused. Oh, well, you probably didn't hear any audio there, but hopefully you saw it. I bought the land. Here it is. Ours now. Oh, we gotta move. We got so much work to do now in August. I gotta get this little potato harvester over there to get up all the potatoes off of that field as well. Oh boy. <laughs> we gotta get moving. We might not be doing as many contracts as I usually do in August, but we need the money now too, so we're kinda stuck. All right, let's 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 do a whole lot of potato harvesting. Let's just do it. You know what? It's time. We've, we're, we're getting big enough. It's time in August at least. Here it is. Good luck, worker. <sighs> you know, and the nice part about having a worker do these is that they won't trample the crop. So it's easier for them to do this than me. <laughs> All right, so let's, oh, wow. Here it is, we've, we've reached that point. That's good. That is a very good thing though. Let's grab this. And let's go start digging into our sorghum. Uh, we've got a lot of sorghum to do as well. 
So we're just gonna we'll have to keep an eye on the worker once they're once they're full. Then we will unload and they won't be on the proper side, so we'll have to do some finagling for unloading, but that's the way it goes. Let's park this over by let's park the header over by the pigs. I think that's gonna be the most room. Here we go. Why can I not can I hook up please? There it goes. Good. And let's just start making a clockwise rotation around this field. And we don't need to straw swath. This is sorghum, so no straw. There it is. We're into our, oh, and we missed some right away. Into the sorghum field. It's gonna be fun on the other side of this field to see our potato harvesting happening without us. That's gonna be fun. Let's go see how she's doing once we get over there. Yeah, there she goes. I am looking forward to a day when the NPC farmers, and maybe it'll be 25, I don't think it will be, but I'm looking forward to a day in Farming Simulator when you see the NPCs working their fields too with different gear. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Just to see the gear that they're using. She might be full once she gets over there. Let's go, let's let her get turned around so that the basket's on the right side and then we'll go, ooh, we can go up just right next to her, I think. We'll see how that works. There's not much of a area for getting the trailer in there. It's so close. I don't know if you, oh, you can't do that. You got to turn the, with that harvester, you got to turn the harvester off in order to unload. So you can't just do that, but let's see what she does, how she does over there. All right. This is oilseed radish in here. I can drive on this. Our beautiful oilseed radish field that used to be the canola field that has to get planted this month. Hello. We got to plant that too. Oh boy, full grain tank. It's warned me. Yes, here we go. We'll just keep the worker in there. This is just too easy. Just let it go while we're, while we're unloading. I think as well, as I was burned so bad last year, I might do two stalls of potatoes in there, especially since we have so many potatoes now let's just do this she should be underway yep and then let's just dump these in the second one over here nope I gotta use the that's right <laughs> I can't do it like this I gotta move the I should have moved those around the last see oh my gosh there we go let's see how this works we're gonna do a little control I just to dump them on the ground here basically and then we use this and a, let's see, turn on conveyor belt. And should just suck them up and put them in there. Yes, it's working exactly the way we needed to. Now, no, all right, let's do unload here, control I. Now it's working, yes, more, thank you, good, keep going. There it is. How's she doing over here? Uh, we might need to, oh, is she coming back yet? <laughs> Maybe this is gonna be a full-time process, just dealing with these potatoes. Hello? <laughs> She's coming back. She's coming back. Well, now that we got this moved around, it should be a lot quicker. We can get, I can probably do a tip side. I'll, I'll open up the full back. We can just dump them right on the ground there. Actually, we may not be doing a whole nother trailer here. Depending on how many it looks like fits in there, let's see. We might just do one trailer in this side, one in just to the left there. And then we'll put some in with the, the pigs. We gotta fill them up just a little bit. And then the rest go into the into the potato refinery. There we go. We'll let that do its thing. And it looks like it's not going to for now. We gotta fix that. But we also need to unload her. So let's do that. She full. I think uh, just because I'm pulling up alongside her, she probably stops. 80% full. There we go. This is working slick. We're getting it down. This is brand new way of farming for me. Let's get this taken care of over here. So why is it not picking those up? It might be because... Let's try this. Move it backwards a little bit. There we go. That's what we need. Get them all off there. Let's turn that off. Yeah, we'll do one more load over in the other side, kind of similar to this. And then we will move on. And I don't need that tractor right now. She's going that way. 
This is frantic. Frantic harm farming. How did how did farming simulator become stressful? I what's going on? I need another tractor. <laughs> I need another tractor as well. I don't have the tractoring capacity to deal with this. I gotta like the Robo Six is gonna have to run double duty. We'll have to go get the other trailers. I'm glad I didn't sell them. We have to go get the other trailers to unload this harvester now. And we have nowhere to put it. <laughs> this harvester is almost full, and the other harvester is just about to turn around. So what we're gonna do is, once this is full, we're gonna shut the engine down on this, run the Robo 6 over to make sure our worker is ready to go. The nice part is we, this takes at least two full trailer loads of potatoes. So I don't have to worry about a partial load here. I can just unload, or I can unload the harvester fully. Oh, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? The way she backs up, <laughs> the way she turns around is bad. We're gonna have to clean up at the end of the field there too. She's not gonna be able to deal with those trees. That much I guarantee, she can't deal with the trees. All right, let's get her unloaded without damaging the equipment. And then we'll get some over with the pigs. Drop some more off right here. And uh, by the time we get that done, she's probably gonna be back around for another unload. <laughs> oh boy. Off you go, and off we go to the pigs, and we only are gonna put like 3,000 liters in for the pigs, I think. Let's take a look. They just don't take that many potatoes. Uh, let's see, so we'll call that three, so another two and a half thousand. So we'll get it down to 16,000 liters in here. All right, we'll keep a close eye down there for 16,000 liters and boom, that's gonna be enough. What do we got? It is 5,000, yeah, that's good enough. Good enough for a long time with these potatoes. All right, I'm gonna move the conveyor belt again over to the other side. Once we get, okay, once we get this unloaded, you know, get enough potatoes in the potato pantry over here, then we, and it's gonna be easy mode. We're just gonna be unloading over at the potato refinery until it is full. And then if, if that fills up with all this, then we will start doing the train station. We'll see how much we have left. We'll, ah, oh man, this is hectic. Hectic farming in August. Let's go tip side back and dump it on the ground here. Hop in the conveyor. Is it still on? It is, it's still unloading. Yep, there it goes. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be great. Oh, look at all these potatoes. <laughs> well, that unloaded quick though. Let's leave this trailer over here for potatoes for next time. And let's go grab the other trailers and unload the sorghum. At least get the trailers over here before she comes and turns around again. There, we have sucked up the last of the potatoes. This is a good amount in here. I feel good about that. We are only gonna do the one potato field again next year for, you know what? Maybe we should use these for potatoes now because the potato refinery is super easy to drop off at. Yeah, let's use these. It's just a drive-through deal. And we could probably go in this way. Let's see if she stops. Yeah, let's do that. I was worried about backing up the I have to turn around yep oh shoot uh, I just didn't get close enough so yeah the potato refinery you just drive through and you dump the trailers in there and you don't have to worry about backing up a dolly trailer where the sorghum we're gonna put a lot of it in the silo where with the silo we do have to back it up how are we looking on the potato refinery by the way it should be coming down nicely yeah we're in the red <laughs> we should be oh, I wonder if we're gonna fill it up That'd be really, really cool if we fill this up. I don't think we have quite enough canola yet, but we do have a lot of canola in the silo over there. And maybe that is something that we can pull out of there to fit more sorghum in. <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna do. There we go, dump those trailers there. Get this trailer, go over to the harvester over here. <laughs> Get that emptied out and head over to the silo. I think we have some time now to get a little sorghum harvesting in. <laughs> this is insane. This is kind of, I will, I'll say it's fun. Hopefully it's, it's somewhat coherent with what's going on so I can, you can keep track of 
of everything. Manure is looking good. We oh, we have to get some fields prepped up. Canola and oh my gosh, we've got a lot of work to do in August. I might not get to some of those contracts. I usually like to finish all those up. We'll be working through the night for sure. I do want to stop and take a second and look at how gorgeous this sorghum field is. It's big and it's not just a rectangle. It fits the land. I wanted to actually do that before I got into the harvest, but we don't have time to sit here and let's take a close look at this and this. We don't have time. Here's our first trailer load of sorghum. Let's dump off a little bit for the horses. They aren't gonna take much, might not even be a thousand. But let's just top them off. A little treat for the horses, get them ready, go get them acclimated to sorghum a little bit again so we're not using so much hay. I Maybe I should just keep using hay. It really kind of makes sense, but I like feeding them sorghum too. A little variety in their diet. I would do root crops too if potatoes work, but potatoes don't work and we don't have any other root crops to feed them, so I'm not worried about that too much, but I do like using sorghum a little bit. And the rest goes in the silo, and I think that it's the silo's gonna be dang near full after we do this. Are we gonna pull out some canola and just bring it over to crappie cooking oils? Like another few thousand liters, maybe? I don't even know if that's gonna be enough to I don't even know that's enough to pull out of here in order for it to make a difference. There we go. Let's just fill the rest up and see where we're at. All right, it took it all out of this trailer. There's really not a good way to say, I wish they had the capacity on this. So 113, 100, so it is pretty much oh, an 80% full grain tank for the, for the worker. Uh, we can only fit a few more thousand in over here. Let's do this. I want to pull some of the canola out, maybe like 10,000 liters. I don't want to be short on canola again though. Let's just drop the trailer there for now. We gotta go, yep, she's turning around. Here we go, it's a race. We gotta go get our other trailers and get that those potatoes out of, <laughs> out of the harvester before she turns around again. Look at how kind and the AI is to the workers. That's so nice. Why can't you be kind and nice to me? There we go. Oh, don't hit it this time. All right, I'm learning. Front trailer's full, finally. I did do one load without you, I think. Let's start working on this back trailer. There we go. Well, I'll do the first round of drop off at the potato refinery with you. And then we'll pro I'll probably just finish the potato field. We're just gonna keep doing the same thing, really. So let's drop the trailer off there, back over to deal with our silo situation. I think the best solution, let's do this. Let's do 10,000 of the canola, and then I'll do 10,000 of the barley over to the Lavish Lewis Levigator. And then that should be able to fit in the rest of the sorghum in there, maybe, we'll see. Maybe what I'll do is we'll fit as much, we'll do this, so we'll do the 10 canola, 10,000 of barley out of there, fill the rest up with sorghum, and then whatever's left out of that sorghum field, We'll put in with the pigs. Let's do that. I think that's the best solution. I don't want to get too low on barley and canola. Because you know I've ran into problems with the pigs before. This is canola. We're going over to crappie cooking oils. Does it still have some in there as well? It might have some in there that's working on. By the way, between episodes, I also moved a bunch of, bunch of honey over to the shed over there. Oh, I got it on grain door again. It's going to take forever. Uh, canola oil. Yeah, we got 26,000 in there still. So this is going to work out really well with that new potato field. I think we are sitting really nice. We're going to have a lot of potato chips to sell. It is nice when this field is grass. I'll tell you that. I cut across this thing a lot. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, oh, they're just about to turn around. Oh, we got it going backwards too on this. Oh, boy. The terrain is really doing us in today. 10,000 liters of barley over to the levigator. And are we still, we are not. So let's activate the barley. Yes, that's good. We, oh, oh, is she turning around? She is, okay. Oh, the green door. She's full. Oh, she got her beacon on, she's full. I think we're going to definitely go drop this off. 
at the, yep, at the potato refinery. That's the next step. Get these two trailers completely unloaded, and then we can start harvesting the sorghum again. There it is, uh, potato unloading at the potato refinery. I wonder how we're going to be doing after this first load. I think we're going to have plenty of room for all these potatoes. First load's in. Let's see where we're at. Potato chips. Yes. Back in the green. <laughs> 134,000, 22,000 liters. We got to maybe look at moving some of those potato chips fairly soon as well. Not doing that this episode. In fact, I don't think we're going to get to that, unfortunately, get to that new field this episode. Here's the plan. We're going to finish these two fields today. We're going to finish harvesting these two fields. The sorghum and the and the potatoes. And then that new potato field, we're going to do next episode. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, I don't know if I said it here or not, but I got to hit the road in a couple days. So between episode recording i am going to do a bunch of those contracts and probably get it to be overnight well it's dark out so that during the day we can go harvest up the potatoes over there and that'll be part of next episode because I, I it is important to me that we do new fields together i'm not just gonna go and we bought a new field and go work it and then you don't get to see any of it because that's the fun stuff right but that's the plan let's let's keep burning out this you're gonna see less and less of this until it's done just because there's not going to be much to see anymore. We moved the barley. I'll show you filling up the silo with the sorghum and then, uh, you know, bring you in for the highlights. How about that? Coming up on the last of the sorghum here. I don't know how much is going to fit in the silo and I don't care. The rest, we're going to fit as, cram as much in the silo as we can. And then the rest goes in with the pigs and we'll deal with corn when that comes in a couple of few months. I think we'll be good. The pigs will probably eat down enough of the the primary food, the sorghum and whatever else is in there right now. So I think we'll be able to fit a lot of corn in there. We'll end up finding out, but that's the plan. We'll see if it, oh, I hope this all fits in the harvester. I think it will. Four, set, ah, uh, come on. Come on, don't make me unload for like three liters. <laughs> oh, look at this. Come on, it's going to do it, isn't it? I'm not going to do it. I don't care. I'm going to just mulch the rest of this in. Speaking of mulchers. There, we did it. <laughs> Woo. Uh, speaking of mulchers, I am in the market for a mulcher. Can you, our little guy, doing all this? No, I can't do it. I cannot do that. So we'll be getting a mulcher maybe next episode, probably next episode. <laughs> We'll have to use it together to begin with. Let's see. Where are we at? Mulchers. Right in here. Mulchers. This one is the one we want. 70. Oh, gosh. 8.9, 12. Oh, 78,000. I thought it was 30-something thousand. Oh, we're full there. That's fine. Bring this over towards the we're gonna do a little quick trailer swap she's gonna be turning around yep we gotta get over there make sure we can get the potatoes out of the harvester there Seventy-eight thousand. i i'm not too concerned about money we're kind of pre-spending money we got a lot going on uh, like i said i'm gonna do the contracts in between episodes and we'll know more about where we're at once i get those contracts done and you know the cotton fields we got the Super silage sell off. I, I'm not feeling, I'm feeling bullish on money. Obviously, I just keep spending it. <laughs> I can't, I cannot, I refuse to do that field right there with that little mulcher we have. I can't do it. I think we got to spend the 78,000 and deal with the consequences. I'm saying that a lot. Here we go. The last full load of sorghum is going in. We'll see how much of this trailer it takes. It might take it all for, should it take up to 40,000? So it might take it all, honestly. How far is it going to go? 5,000 liters. 4,000. Come on. Fit it all in there. That's best case scenario. Well, that's good. There's still a little bit left in the harvester. Oh, it's all going to fit in the silo. Look at that. Oh, nope. Oh, 585,000. Yeah, we're full. Or 585 liters left. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. This will fit in with the pigs. Let's go unload the rest of the harvester. We know where we're going to be at for the sorghum. 
and we know we're going to be good. That is a, I love that we filled up that silo. Can you believe that? So much money to spend money on now. More silo, more. We need another tractor. We need a bigger mulcher. We need a bigger metal roller. <laughs> I feel like we need something else. Oh, we need cotton and wool productions, spinnery and tailor. Oops. Over here is where the harvester is. Let's see how much is left in there. The rest of this goes in with the pigs, just to supplement until the corn comes out. Let's see. Oh, there wasn't a lot. That's good. We got it all fit in the, the, the plan is coming together. I'm glad we took that 10,000 out, 10,000 of canola and take the 10,000 of barley out, fit the rest of the sorghum in there. Feel like we're really sitting good with that silo. There we go. The rest of the sorghum's going in with the pigs. I'm not even looking at the meters. I just know that they're going to need some. And this isn't anywhere near as much as what they actually need. Once this is emptied. There we go. Let's look here. Piggies, base food. Yeah, they're nowhere near what they need. We got that corn, though. And the sorghum's going to be back up. That's why we have it in the silo. Oh, corn harvest is going to be great. And it'll eat all this down a little bit. Proteins are coming down already. I'm, I'm going to call it here. I, I'm afraid we can't finish that potato field right now. I'm just going to finish it on my own because really... All we're doing is I'm just throwing it in the... Uh, I'll, I'll update you once we come back in the next episode. We're just throwing them in here. They're all definitely going to fit in here from this field, and I think they're all going to fit from the other field as well. We're looking really good with potatoes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is like a... Man, mayhem. Complete mayhem. I was not expecting that from this episode, but here we are. <laughs> uh, I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.